in this problem, they want us to determine if these numbers right here work as solutions to this inequality. To do that, we take these numbers one at a time and just plug them in for u. Uh, this inequality reads negative 67 is less than 8 times u. So for the first one, that would be 8 times negative 9, and then we'd add 5 to it. So let's try that. Negative 67 is less than 8 times negative 9, plugging in that first value for u, and then plus 5. So negative 67 is less than an 8 times negative 9 would be a negative 72 plus 5. Oh, and negative 72 plus 5 is negative 67. So the question is, is negative 67 less than negative 67? And no, it's not. It equals it. So this is not a solution. Let's try another. OK. So we've got 10 next, a positive 10. Ooh, I can see this is going to work already. Because 8 times 10 is 80, plus 5 is going to be 85. Any positive number is greater than negative 67. So negative 67 is less than 85. So that works. My guess is negative 10 is not going to work. Let's, let's try it. Negative 67 less than or equal to, um, well, 8 times negative 10 would be negative 80 plus 5. So negative 67 is less than negative um, 75. And here you have to be a little bit careful and think about the number line. The number 67 is smaller in magnitude than the number 75. But negative 67 on the number line would be right here. And negative 75 would be even more negative right here. So Negative 75 is actually less than negative 67. So negative 67 is not less than negative 75. All right, and let's try a negative 3. So negative 67 is less than or equal to, no, sorry, just less than 8 times a negative 3 plus 5. And I'm pretty sure this is going to work. Negative 67 less than 8 times negative 3 is negative 24 plus 5. So I can see this is going to work. Negative 67 is going to be less than a negative 19. So that one works. So that is a little bit of work with uh, identifying solutions for an inequality.